Assalamu alaikum everyone. Yes, I'm back with a new video. In today's video, we'll be making light up slime. Yes, this slime is seriously going to be so lit. So, let's get started. You will need light up balloons. It has an LED light in it, which you pull to light up the balloon. These will be easier to use because you can get individual ones. So I have taken out the LEDs from the balloons. I haven't taken out this because this is where it connects the battery. Okay, so pull this and the LED light will start blinking. Let me demonstrate. And there your LED light will blink. Okay. Now if you want to protect the LED light and make the LED light last longer in the slime, use this trusty cling film. Why? Because it will make the LED waterproof. Wrap it around the LED light and it's secured. This will help your LED light last longer in the slime. Now the cling film is really really great to use especially for this type of slime because the film itself it really clings to itself and it clings to whatever you're trying to form a tight seal on. So this way you can protect it from air, you can protect it from moisture. It's ready to put in slime. So let's prepare the slime quickly. Oh my god, what is what does that say? That says dermatologist tested. I wonder who is the poor dermatologist that it was tested on. Here is the secret ingredient. Yes, Tide Free and Gentle is a powerful hyperallergenic laundry detergent that is free of dyes and perfumes. Now this Tide is very powerful. Do not use this directly on glue. The glue will clump faster than you can say no. I diluted it with a bit of water. Mix that very well where you have the soapy bubbles on top. Clear liquid tide activator is ready. Now you have to get rid of the soapy bubbles on top. Get rid of them. Get rid of them some more. And again and again. Removing the soapy bubbles. Almost done. Soapy bubbles have been removed. Take any good quality clear PVA glue. This is very important. Use any brand that's really good quality. Now the clear tide activator that we made, we're not going to use all of it. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of the activator. There goes the first tablespoon, followed by the second one. I'm going to take a popsicle stick and I'm going to gently stir this around. And as soon as you add it, you can see that the glue is clumping together. And then I'm going to mix it. And the bubbles will form, but not too much, and it doesn't get cloudy. After this, I'm just going to place it in a container and leave it out for the bubbles to go. Now, this is a small batch, so the bubbles will disappear very quickly. It looks like there's nothing in it, right? Wrong! There's clear slime in it. So I have the slime ready. I'm going to add the LED lights in it. So the LED lights that I'm using are very bulky. As you can see, that is only because of the batteries. So we already activated the light by pulling out the paper tab that was protruding from in between the batteries. So these LED lights last up to, it claims, 15 hours. Just be aware that these lights are small and therefore they are not very bright, but you'll get the best effect if you use them at night or in a darkened room. I will turn off the lights so you can see the LED light slime clearly. There goes light one. Ooey gooey crystal clear slime with multicolored LED lights to bring the shine and sparkle and put a new interesting twist on slimes. So mesmerizing. Oops. LED overboard. Max out your creativity and thinking skills with this amazing light up slime that offers hours of experimentation, fun, teamwork, and imagination. You can use different types of slimes, you know what I mean, like colored slime, glittered slime, textured slime. Oh, I can watch this all day. 
I mean the possibilities of creativity and fun are endless. Now, using the transparent slime will give you a softer diffusion of the LED lights. You can stretch and squash the slime without having to worry about getting poked with the LEDs because they're safely housed in the cling film saran wrap. Fun facts about LED. What does LED stand for? It stands for light emitting diode. Now, the LED light bulb uses energy more efficiently with little wasted heat. It's true, LED lights will not be very hot and they're very safe to use. That's why they're very safe to handle. Now, LED lights contain no mercury and over 95% of their parts are recyclable. This makes LEDs so green in so many ways. Not only do they reduce energy use and the need for excesses of fossil fuels, but now you can recycle the bulb itself. Although with their long lifespan, it's unlikely you'll have to in your lifetime. Due to their compact size, stress-free upkeep, reliability, fracture-resistant nature, and high durability, LED lights are being used in variety of different products such as traffic signals, street lights, and televisions. Did you know that LEDs are not measured in watts? Instead, lumens are used to measure light output provided by LEDs. This is certainly one of the most interesting facts about LEDs. Yes, it is. Are we done with this video already? Okay, in summary, what did we learn about LED lights? Well, we have learned it is very eco-friendly. It saves a lot of energy. It has a very prolonged running time. It's cost-effective, it's longer lasting, and it uses less power. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah is Bye. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.